God's voice echoes through the ages, calling each of us to account for our actions. Every hidden sin, every unconfessed guilt, stands as a barrier between you and the divine mercy that God so freely offers. You see, God is both merciful and just, and His justice demands that sin be acknowledged, confessed, and repented. The world might tell you that your sins are private, that what you've done in the shadows need not be brought to light. But God's word is clear. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1 9. Without confession, there can be no cleansing, no forgiveness, no restoration. Think of the weight you carry when you refuse to confess your sins. It's like a heavy chain wrapped around your soul, dragging you deeper into despair. You might think you're hiding your guilt well, but in reality, it's poisoning your spirit, separating you from the peace that only God can give. There is no hiding from God. He sees all, knows all, and he waits patiently for you to humble yourself and confess. But do not mistake God's patience for indifference. The time for confession is now. Scripture warns us, Whoever conceals their sins does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. Proverbs 28.13 If you continue to live in denial, if you allow pride to keep you from admitting your guilt, you will face God's judgment. The longer you wait, the harder your heart becomes, and the more distant you grow from God's grace. The consequences of unconfessed sin are severe. You might escape human justice, but divine justice is inevitable. God's punishment is not a momentary correction. It is eternal separation from His love and light. Hell is real, and it is the final destination for those who choose to hide their sins rather than confess them. This is not a message of fear, but of truth, God's truth. He desires that no one should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Some may say, but my sin is too great, my guilt too overwhelming. Surely I cannot be forgiven. Let me tell you, no sin is too great for God's mercy. The blood of Christ shed on the cross is sufficient to cleanse even the darkest of sins. But you must come forward. You must confess. You must lay your guilt at the feet of the Savior. Consider the story of King David, a man after God's own heart, yet a man who fell into grievous sin. David could have concealed his sin, but when confronted, he confessed with a broken heart, saying, I have sinned against the Lord, 2 Samuel 12, 13. And what was God's response? Mercy, forgiveness, restoration. David's life was spared, but the consequences of his actions were still felt. This is a sobering reminder that while God forgives, our sins still bear earthly consequences. So, what will you do? Will you continue to live in the shadows, burdened by guilt and shame? Or will you step into the light, confess your sins, and experience the freedom that only God can provide? The choice is yours, but know this, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each of us may receive what is due us for the things done while in the body, whether good or bad. 2 Corinthians 5.10 God is calling you to confession, to repentance, to renewal. Do not delay. Every moment you wait, is a moment lost, a moment closer to the final judgment. Bow your head, open your heart, and let the words of confession pour out. God's mercy is waiting, but it cannot enter a heart that is closed off by pride and fear. Remember, confession is not a sign of weakness. It is a declaration of faith. It is an acknowledgement that you trust in God's mercy more than in your own ability to cover your sins. Do not let pride keep you from the grace that God freely offers. Confess your sins, renounce your guilt, and receive the gift of forgiveness. Lastly, if this message has touched your heart, please like, share, and subscribe to spread God's truth to others. May His grace be with you always.